hello and uh, I hope you're keeping well so today is Friday and uh, I'm at the boat I've just come to uh, the boat from work and it is uh, 20 past 4 in the afternoon and this is the first time I've been here on a Friday afternoon at this time for a long time so I've been on uh, mornings been on the morning shift I've been on after I've been on afternoons for uh, 14 months and prior, prior to that I'd been on nights for like many years so unless I was on ho holiday the only time I had Friday night off was never <laughs> so yeah I've worked every Friday night for years ever since my little kids were little so where I work is lucky that I do work Monday to Friday but uh, <laughs> I do have to work Fridays. So yeah, it's really exciting. So today I'm going to show you what we did when we uh, put coach lines on emerald and uh, we also sorted the gunnels out and we put um, sure grip on the gunnels uh, because Carl last year when we went out and it was wet almost slipped off the gunnels and uh, they, they've just been painted over that grippy strip that you can get um what's it called i'll put it in the link <laughs> it's a, like what you stick onto the gunnels uh, but it's been painted over uh, quite a few times i think and also there was rust forming underneath that so excuse that noise because it's a little bit breezy outside and uh, it keeps blowing the canopy i need to go and fasten it up oh now the boat's having a rock <laughs> that's not me honest <laughs> yeah it's that uh, rocking and it's um rubbing against some rub the wooden strakes that's next to it so yeah it's just letting itself be known yeah so yeah we did show grip on the gunnels uh, we painted it with uh, raddle black paint first and uh, i'll show you anyway so i hope you enjoy this video and yeah we're getting there now at last it feels like it there's still lots and lots of jobs to do and we'll be always at it no doubt or we will be for quite a long while because once we've finished them all i expect we've got to start all over again <laughs> i think that's what the way with boats so right so the first thing we did was uh, put coach lines on say the first thing we did everything we've done everything on the on the boat on the side of the boat yeah we put the coach lines on and this is how we did it i'm not saying that's the right way to do it because we are total amateurs um we don't we're sort of going on what we've found out through advice and what we've watched on youtube so let's see how it goes putting coach lines on outside in the wind in the sun yeah we've had all weathers while we've been doing the outside of the boat it's, the british weather is very unpredictable that's all i will say so enjoy this video and uh i'll speak to you very soon so here goes uh, this is emerald all ready for her coach lines so what we did was uh, we put masking tape where we wanted the box to be where we wanted the coach lines to go and then we taped either side of the masking tape the white masking tape there and then we moved it the middle bit uh, to, to get it equal width so there's only the cheap stuff that we use low tack to do the white masking tape and that's it all ready to be painted there you go the craft master paint we used for that and i started in the middle and then kept going to either side so the paint didn't dry when it met at the bottom in the middle because if it starts to go tacky it drags so time to take the masking tape off. No, just go steady. The, the more acute that angle, the better it is. Yeah. Don't think it makes any difference. 
sense of speed. Was it? It's when you're filming it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going underneath, isn't it? You need to do the down one first. And that's one box done. So when we painted the boat on the port side, we couldn't get to the back box when we was on our mooring, which is uh, on the left there, uh, because the boat sticks out. Uh, the back of the pontoon isn't as long as the boat. So next door kindly allowed us to use their mooring for that purpose. So now we're swapping back. So here goes the other side. It's really difficult to get straight lines, uh, to put coach lines on. So we tried thicker tape, uh, it's two inches that is, on the top and then we masked underneath it and then we masked underneath again and then removed the middle bit, the same. We hope the uh, thicker tape wouldn't blow and uh, go yeah, to bend it to take over. trying to apply yeah, it. You this side's uh, done. It was really challenging to put masking tape on because, as you can hear, it's very windy. So let that dry and then give it another coat in an hour or so. That should uh, hopefully be done. So on the starboard side, I only gave it one coat and I ended up having to mask it up again to give it a second coat. So we're going to give it two coats in one day today. Try that. So putting uh, masking tape on the bottom proved quite difficult to get it straight especially. So now I'm uh, putting the second coat on the front bit. I come up with a better idea of painting it. <laughs> so I started at one end in the middle and worked my way along top and bottom. Saved walking up and down the pontoon. So that worked well, better than uh, doing lots of miles up and down the pontoon. On this front box, uh, you can see uh, we've still got the two inch tape on that. I did intend to take that off and put uh, better quality tape on because that was really quite cheap stuff. But because it was so windy, uh, we left it. I always worry about the, the masking tape fetching the paint off. Ooh, get some put gloves on to stop yeah, no. getting paint on hands, but uh, it wasn't easy getting masking tape off with gloves on because it sticks to it. Oh, oh, I'll get that in a minute. Yeah. Come on. So it wasn't as easy taking the two inch tape off on the front, which uh, we didn't intend to leave on. So as you can see, it uh, was quite difficult to remove in places. We got it off uh, okay eventually. And uh, I think it's looking quite good. 
So there's only a little bit of bleed uh, on any of the tape that we put on. So I've just got off with the cloth. So now I'm going to show the gunnels. And the dark green paint seems to be levelling out as well. So this is what the gunnels did look like. Uh, they needed attention. Uh, I've just rubbed that bit down actually before I put some red oxide on it. And there was rust coming through and the grippy tape, there was bits missing off it. I think um, someone had already tried to remove some of it. And uh, you can see there, and that's what we decided we was going to attempt to do. So it had, had, I think it had lots of coats over the top. And that's the bit that had treated what was rusty. So I used a multi tool with a sanding attachment for 40 grit. I think I tried 80 grit, I tried everything. Uh, that didn't touch it, so Carl got the flat wheel on it to try and get some of it off very lightly. But uh, that didn't work either. Tried a heat gun, and that kind of took it off, but we took about a foot off in length in about an hour. <laughs> so we gave it with that. So yeah, we just gave it a good sand down. I'm going to paint over it. Hopefully it won't uh, be noticeable. So we've treated uh, all the rust where it needed and we've sanded back the old grippy fill, grippy fill, grippy tape <laughs> and uh, put some red oxide on just to give it a base. So uh, this is Raddle Paint by Craftmaster. Put that on. Uh, it's a satin finish. I thought it might be a bit more matte. We would tape right up to the edge of the gunnels. Uh, that's just so we get extra grip. Uh, and it's all ready for having the shore grip on, which is by T-Mac. Now it's time to uh, paint that on, but you've got to stir this paint lots because it separates from the grit, the paint does. I'm trying to get it so it's gloopy at the top as well as the bottom. So this paint already has the grit in it, as you can see. I take a test piece uh, just to see how it goes. Just outside the side hatch is where the rust was actually the worst. No, dabbing, Try it. It, dabbing it on. Of course, if you paint it on, it just drags it. Mm. As we found um, when I did the front bit. Roller on it wasn't very successful either, was it? No. Can you That's see where, where that now. rust was? No. I'm having a job to see where the line is. There's a bit there I can see. I'll keep it on it till it's gone. Hmm. <laughs> it's not going to run, is it? Because it's. I'm guessing. If you paint it. Thing is that that rattle is quite matte anyway so if this is really coarse when it dries just paint another coat of rattle over the top of it you know what i mean mm. but it's better painted like that isn't it yeah stippled stippled is that what you call it mm. stippling stippling it mm. it took mm. about 15 minutes to get it to this consistency yeah. stirring constantly mm. But if you brush it, I think it'll just mm. drag. Mm. So this is what it looked like when we'd finished. It looks good, doesn't it? Really pleased with how it's gone on. And you can't even see where the old rust was. And you can barely see where the grippy tape was as well. Result. I'm very pleased with that. So we're going to paint the rest of it. And uh, yeah, it went really well. Keep it at a cute angle. It's taking the masking tape off. Mm. 
we left a little bit of a gap as well right uh, between the side of the cabin and the gunnel just because water gathers there and the bits that lead out to the edge of the gunnel so uh, yeah it just gives water a chance to drain and that doing as well, yeah. this t-mac yeah. grip worked work really well for us uh, stippling it on works as, as well um, and this is it look at it looking good really proud of our work and now she's on her way to being sign written in the next vlog i will show you that being done so uh, yeah she's on her way and you can see now the coach lines in the green box and uh, i think she's looking proper smart and we did it ourselves I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, that's the sun shining. <laughs> I thought, what's that on the wall? I don't know if you can see it. It's a shadow. Just, just there. So. Right. I hope you've enjoyed this anyway and found it useful. <laughs> or maybe interested. Or maybe neither. <laughs> but, you know, I keep doing this now. I keep putting them on. I quite enjoy doing it. So, you know, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. I'll put all sorts on there's cruising and uh, things that we do at emerald and lots of things that we do at emerald because you know there's quite a long list uh, that we're doing the major things at the moment which we wanted to do during lockdown last year when it was uh, we wasn't even allowed to visit the boat or we was allowed to check on it briefly so yeah last spring but uh, happy times now we can do us work on a so I'm expecting Carl home any minute. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very, very soon. Next, oh, in the next vlog, um, um, we've got someone doing the sign writing on our road. So that's really exciting. I'll see you soon. Bye.